Hi, and welcome to uh, this 3D World magazine tutorial regarding N particles by Eric Keller. That's me. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through some of the techniques that I used in the uh, magazine article that comes with this issue. This is all about how you can use textures to influence the movement of particles through uh, force fields emitted by N rigid objects. It sounds complicated at first, but it's actually quite simple and very easy to use and requires very little math or work on your part. So uh, let's get to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an extremely simple demonstration just so you get the basic idea in case you never actually worked with uh, force fields before uh, with end particles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple plane. You could do NURBS or polygons. I'll just create a polygon plane. And I'm going to scale this up to 25 and X, 25 and Z. I'll leave Y and 1. Press the 6 key just so I can see shaded view. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, simple grid of N particles. And the only reason I'm using a grid is because it will make the uh, technique extremely obvious when we actually uh, start playing around with it. So to do that, I'm going to switch to the N uh, Dynamics menu set, N Dynamics. Under N Particles, I'm going to set the style to balls. They have some collision properties built into that style. And then I'm going to go to Create N Particles, N Particle Tool, Options. Under the Options, I'm going to set the solver to Create New Solver. I'm going to leave the Conserve at 1. And I'm going to turn on Create Particle Grid. My spacing for this grid is going to be set to 1, so each particle is one unit away from the other particles. And I'm going to turn on with text fields. In my text fields, I've set the minimum corner to uh, the minimum x corner to negative 12, the y corner to 1, just because I want just a flat plane of particles about one unit above the grid, and the minimum z corner is set to minus 12. The maximum corner, I've set x to positive 12, y again to 1, and z to positive 12. So I'm just going to click in the scene, hit the enter button, and there's my particle grid right there. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually uh, turn the grid into an N rigid object so it interacts with the N particles. To do that, I'll just select the plane and in the end dynamics menu set i'm going to choose end mesh create passive collider let me set the uh, timeline to about something like 800 and if i play the scene you'll just see the end particles fall and they collide with the surface i'm going to hide the grid here just so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on 